Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I got asked by a few of you, and I've been asked this over the years, to show how fast it really is to list an item on Amazon if you decide to start selling on Amazon versus how long it takes to list an item on eBay with item specifics and things like that. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go over to my computer screen and show you exactly how quick you can list an item because I think your mind's gonna be blown and it's gonna give you kind of that motivation and push to give Amazon a try. Don't forget, you can sell on Amazon as an individual seller for free. It just costs you an extra dollar in fees for every item that actually sells than it would cost you if you become a professional seller for $40 a month. So I recommend get an individual account, get your feet wet, learn how it goes, sell a few items, start learning what you can and can't sell, learn how to look up items and get yourself used to it. And then you can upgrade to a professional account after a month or two of learning how to use it and getting, you know, kind of rolling along. So let's go over to my screen. I'll show you how fast it is to sell on Amazon. And then you can decide for yourself if you'd like to do it. I'll put the link down below where you can sign up to be an Amazon seller, either for free or for the $40 a month Amazon store charge and the rest. Well, folks, that's up to you. I'll show you how it's done right over here. Let's thank the sponsor of our channel in today's video, List Perfectly, the best and fastest cross-listing tool for resellers. They'll help you get your inventory in front of 12 platforms in just minutes, including eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Shopify, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and many others. Thank List Perfectly for the time and effort they've put into bringing you this amazing tool. Save 30% on your first month or upgrading a month with List Perfectly using discount code ROCKSTARLP. I'll put it down in the description box. They do an amazing job. They have an amazing team. And we want to thank List Perfectly for being a sponsor of the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Okay, so this is the main Amazon Seller Central page. This is not my actual account because I have a lot of items with high competition and also personal information that I don't really want anyone to see. So you have a drop down menu over here. You can go over and manage all of your inventory. Um, you can manage all of your orders. You can do all that stuff from one page. I'll click over here and show you what the inventory looks like. It's very similar to what you would see on any other page. You can see that there is uh, this store had a lot of video games. Uh, it shows the dates. It shows how many are available the estimated fee that would be paid, and then it shows the current price, lowest prices, all sorts of stuff. Uh, and then you can edit it, and then the manage order screen, if you have orders, again, this is not my actual screen, this doesn't have any of my orders, um, because I don't wanna show you any of my buyer information or any of my products that uh, people could jump on and get um, basically competition for me on. So that is uh, where you would see all the orders, very, very easy. Um, you could look at, you know, like last 365 days. You can look at basically anything. Uh, this is an old store that I had a long time ago. Uh, we had some issues with it. We asked Amazon to get us started with a new one. The new one is the one I currently use. This is the one I don't use and they were okay with that. Now, let me show you why Amazon is so desirable as a selling platform. I know there's a lot of issues. People talk about gating and ungating and restrictions and rules, and that's all well and good and there that is true. But Look how quickly you can list on Amazon and don't forget items sell faster on Amazon than they do on eBay. Almost probably 95% of the time, you'll be able to sell and move more items on Amazon quicker than you will eBay. Also, you can charge more. People are willing to spend a little bit more money for the Amazon Prime options if you decide to do the FBA option. FBA is fulfilled by Amazon. It's as simple as you pack all your inventory up, put it in boxes, send it to their warehouse, they store it for you and when it sells, they ship it out for you. Uh, they handle basically everything, the customer service also. Um, FBM just means fulfilled by merchant. You are the merchant, so you stick it on your shelf in your garage. It sells and you ship it. But you'll always sell items faster and for more money on FBA because they get the Prime option. They're willing to spend a little more money. And generally, a lot of the shoppers on Amazon immediately go to Prime. So let me show you how easy it is. This is a Samsung remote that I sell. It's a bn 590 f um, I don't have any listed on Amazon right now. I ran out of stock, but I do have more of them I have to get up. So if you do search this one, you won't find my store on here yet, um, but I will have more of these to put up soon. I sell these all the time. I get them in and out. So I'll, I'll get like three or four of them. I'll list them, they'll sell, and then I'm out of stock and then I gotta wait till I get more of them. So let's say I had this remote to sell uh, or I saw this remote out in a thrift store or yard sale or whatever, and there's a myth. You can sell used items on Amazon. People don't realize this. Everything I sell is used just about on Amazon. So you'll scroll down and you can look over here on the right hand side. There's a list. There are new and used 11 total of these remotes on Amazon. If you click that, it's gonna show you every single one. 
So the cheapest one is used like new. It shows you who's selling it. Global Renewed Network. This is a competitor of mine. And they're selling it for $9.99 in used condition like new. The very first one, now they're selling it FBM, as in they are selling it themselves. And you can tell because when they're prime, it says prime. So the very first one under that is brand new for $11.40, and it's sold by prime, which means it's at FBA. So a lot of people, rather than paying $9.99 for a used one, will just go ahead and pay $11.40 for a prime, delivered faster, and it's brand new. Even if this one was used for $11.40, more expensive, they probably, a lot of people would buy it from this guy, uh, SAI Electronics, rather than buy it from this guy because they offer Prime. And you can scroll down and see all the other sellers that are selling it for right around the same prices, some people more expensive, but you can see all the options. Now, let's say you're like, okay, I have a used one. I would like to sell it for $9.99 also. So you'll go down here and you'll scroll down just a little bit and it says sell on Amazon. So you just click that and it's gonna pop up with your listing page, your seller SKU, your price, your quantity, your condition, right? You can choose use, good, like new, very good. And you can choose, I'll ship this item myself, fulfilled by merchant or FBA. And that's it. That's all you have to fill in. There's no item specifics or this or that or any of this other crap. Um, that's pretty much the entire extent of it. Down here, you have um, managing it in other marketplaces, which isn't really necessary. There are advanced options that you can do. So the required is here, that's the relevant. And then you could do all attributes and all attributes gives you options to make a condition note. Um, you can change your handling time. You can do um, you know restock dates if you have more. So there are other options that you can do. And then obviously um, you know the required ones have a star next to it and the um, other ones are all optional. So you can do is gift wrap available. You have all these different options, but that's it. That is all you have to do for an Amazon listing and then you would hit um, save and finish and this item would be up live on Amazon. You can literally scan stuff with a barcode if it's brand new, it'll pop it up, fill in a few pieces of information and you are rolling. Now, those prices we just saw, if you look here at the top, it tells you one used listing, $9.99 plus free shipping and 10 brand new listings, $11.40 plus zero shipping. This is gonna give you the lowest one. Obviously there's only one used, so that's what it is. And then the 10 brand new ones start at 1140 with free shipping. So you can tell exactly um, how much people are charging for it. It gives you the ASIN, which is the identifier number and the UPC. It also gives you this important thing, Amazon sales rank 441. So if we go back, let's go back to the Amazon item. On any Amazon item page, you can search anything on Amazon. If you scroll down here to the little product information, there is a fancy little best sellers rank. This is the number 441 best-selling item in electronics and the number 19 best-seller in remote control electronics. So there are hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of different remote control models. This is the 19th best-selling one. This is a really good selling remote. No, it's not worth a lot of money, but a lot of people buy this remote. Why? It works for a lot of Samsung TVs, tons of different models, which they give. And uh, that's why people love it because um, everyone has these TVs. A ton of people have these TVs. Also, you can see the top 100 items in the electronics overall category, and it shows you, look, it shows you the best selling items so you can go and maybe come across some of these items that you're eligible to sell. And there you go. So that's another helpful tool that Amazon gives you. Another reason why you should sell on Amazon. The date this became available was 2015. So these TVs have been around for seven, almost eight years. Shows you all the information, gives you all of the different options, gives you questions people have asked, et cetera, et cetera. But all you need to be worried about this side, the pricing, and sell one on Amazon. That's how easy it is. That is step-by-step -step how to create an Amazon listing from scratch and get selling. You can start with an individual account. If you go to Google and you type in sell on Amazon, you will be brought to this main website that will show you to sign up. Now, Amazon costs $40 a month for a store, but you can avoid the $40 a month and come down here and it says, do you just have a few items to sell? Sign up to become an individual seller. If you do that, there's no $40 fee. You can start learning it, but you will be charged an additional $1 for every item that sells, not for listing it for a dollar if it sells. So your normal fee, let's say you sell a $12 item and the fee's like $1.50, you'll be charged $2.50 rather than the normal $1.50 selling fee. So that's it. And then you can come over here and you can see 
uh, cost of selling on Amazon, uh, compare selling plans. And so when you look at here, it gives you the selling plan comparisons. It gives you the referral fee, which you can click. And you can come down and look at the different categories, which give you the referral fees, which is how much you'll pay. Um, for example, base power tools are 12%. Automotive power sports are 12%. Appliances full size are 8%. There's a uh, minimum, of course. Uh, backpacks, handbags, and luggage, 15%. Uh, business industrial, 12%. Clothing and accessories, 17%. A uh, little bit lower than Posh, a little higher than eBay there. Collectible coins, collectible entertainment, collectible sports. Consumer electronics are 8%. Computers are 8%. Eyewear, 15%. So you can see all these different percentages. Uh, everything else, 15%. And then you can see uh, a revenue calculator. So you can definitely see um, what it will cost you to buy and sell on um, Amazon. So that's it, guys. That's as easy as it is to get started. And hopefully you guys will take advantage of this. Create an Amazon account for free uh, with this individual account down here at the bottom. Um, and then get your feet wet and start selling on Amazon. If there's any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com, or you can respond with a comment, question, concern here on the video, and I will get back to as many as I can. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.